In this lesson, we'll go over how to flash the Node MCU firmware onto ESP8266. In order to follow along this lecture, you'll need a ESP8266 board. The Node MCU is an open source IoT platform firmware that runs on ESP8266 board. It lets us program ESP8266 with Lua script, and with few lines of code, we can turn ESP8266 into a web server. In order to flash Node MCU to the board, first, we have to custom build the firmware and download it. Then, we flash the bin file on the ESP8266 dev board from the PC, which in our case, we will use a Windows computer. You can custom build the firmware yourself, but we have already built one that you can just download. To get our custom built Node MCU firmware, go to github.com IoT4E Basic Programming IoT and go into Node MCU folder. Click on the firmware folder and click on Node MCU custom firmware.bin. Then click on the download button on the top right. Move the downloaded bin file to your project folder. Now we need to get the flasher for Node MCU. Go to github.com slash node MCU. Scroll down and click on the Node MCU flasher. Here you can find two releases, with those 32-bit and 64-bit. Click on the folder for whichever version you need. You will find the ESP8266 flasher executable file here. Download the file and move it to your project folder. Now we have got everything we need to flash Node MCU firmware. ESP8266 development board, Node MCU firmware, and the flasher. First, connect ESP8266 to the computer via USB, like you would with a phone with a micro USB port. For clarity, make sure to remove any other USB from the PC. Then, on the computer, right click on ESP8266 flash file and run it as an administrator. Click Yes for the permissions. It will open up this window. The port number may be different for yours. Click on the Advanced tab. Change baud rate to 115,200, flash speed to 40 MHz, and SPI mode to DIO. Then let's go to the Config tab. The value on right side is showing address where we need to flash the bin file. This will remain the same. ESP Flasher comes preloaded with the old version of Node MCU, version 0.9. Hence, it states the firmware address as internal node MCU, indicated by the green label. Since we want to use our own custom version, click on the gear icon to change the file to flash. This will open up a new window to browse for your custom file. Go to your project folder and select the bin file we downloaded earlier. Now directory information has changed. Go back to the operation tab. Hit the flash button to start flashing. It will show MAC address and start flashing the firmware on ESP8266. When the flashing is done, it will show the green icon on the bottom left. You have successfully flashed Node MCU on the ESP8266 board. In the next lesson, we'll go over ESplorer IDE for ESP8266. If you have any questions, let us know on IoT4E community board. Thank you.